Okay guys, we just landed in Rome. It's actually Allegra's first time in Rome, so she's super excited. We're passing the Colosseum. Well, are you showing her? Look at the gladiators and the lions are. We're gonna come properly visit it, sweetie. You see? And there's a fishy. There's a fish in Colosseum? I didn't know that. Is there? Well, they, they actually used to do battle with, with uh, real ships in the Colosseum. They would fill it with water and they would have a uh, battle. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, so guys, you're getting some educational historical lesson from my husband. Now I didn't know about that yeah. one. We're so, so excited to be here in Rome. It's been a while. <coughs> First thought when we land is like, wow, this airport has really nice food. All these nice paninas. <laughs> That's exactly how we feel being here. What else? Also the first thought is like people smoke here a lot. Do you notice like people don't smoke as much in the they, US? They do smoke more here. Yeah. They smoke more here. And also the rules are kind of loose here. Like, you know, when you arrive to America and they ask you like 100 questions of like, where you're going, where you is, where you're staying, how long here. Just give a passport stamp, bye. I love it here. Just woke up, it's like 11 a.m. I slept so long today. <laughs> Just had coffee and we are guys in Mykonos again. I can't wait to show you. I mean, we kind of been here last year, so you guys are coming to the same trip with us. And I just hope I'm gonna make a better job with vlogging this time. I know, there's no Always, every time when I arrive somewhere, for me it's like super important first thing to like put all my clothes together, iron everything because I hate like a feeling that my stuff is not like ready to go. And once everything is done, like I can really fully relax and actually enjoy the vacation. Yeah. Gee. Oh. Also later we might go to a pony ranch, right? Horses ranch. Because on the way here yesterday we saw a horse ranch and she's like, I want to go see horses. No, so I, I think we're gonna... Ponies, sorry, ponies. Uh, so we might do that later. Also last night there was a huge spider. We like didn't know what to do with it for like an hour, chasing it all over the room. Finally got it, finally went to sleep. Wild. No, I was scared for the spider. Yeah, you, you had a spider in your room too, right? You know and what? the shower. Do you like spiders? Yeah. No. I don't. Look at the skirt. Do you like that? I'm the queen. I just realized this trip I packed light. I don't know if I should be happy about it or upset. For now, I'm kind of upset. <laughs> you should be happy. You're right. Every trip I was like, oh, I should learn how to pack light. And this trip I was like, I pack light. Why well, didn't brought the enough options? I'm sure everyone can relate to this. Good morning. Well, actually, I already said good morning. Anyway, we are in the car on our way to Horse Ranch. Valeria is very excited about me vlogging. As soon as I took out the camera, he was like, really, his eyes was just like lit up, you know? Rolling. Rolling. <laughs> Rolling. And I told him, I was like, listen, just imagine when you were like 90 and you just go to my YouTube channel and you see all these beautiful videos from our trips, us being young. So I told him like, let's just do our videos while we're still have it, you know? He's like, my time has gone already a long time ago. No. Everyone always tells baby that you look good. Who is this handsome man next to you? They're just very generous. <laughs> 
No, they're not sweet. Look at this cutie. Who is there? Amore, why don't you tell us where we're going? Horse ranch. Horse ranch. I don't know why she speaks like this one. <laughs> Whatever I film, she always talks like horse ranch. Horse ranch. Anyway, so we are going to a horse ranch that we saw yesterday on the way home from the airport. Never been there, so we don't know what to expect, but Allegra is hyped up. You want to touch a pony? That's too big. That's too big of a pony. That's a big horse. That's a big pony. Just we have to make sure we don't. Pony, <laughs> it's so little and so cute. Are you excited? Yeah, those ones are too big. Amore, it's coming. Look, it's right there. Amore, listen. This one is chunky. Has small legs. Very proportional horse. Like he basically looks like Jesse. He looks like our dog. <laughs> <laughs> she pregnant or is she just a little fat? Yeah. <laughs> she wants to feel like a real horse. Oh, and the helmet now? Wow, yeah. you look like a ranger. Hi. Okay, we had a pretty productive day. Just got back home. It's literally 7 p.m. I don't know how I'm gonna go to sleep. I had two coffees today. I feel so hyped up. I was like... Anyway, Valeria is still playing paddle. It literally plays the whole day paddle. Allegra fell asleep on the way here, so I don't know how she's gonna go to sleep either. And super random. We were in the car today. We were laughing about how we would call our second child. And I got this idea. I was like, why don't we call our child? Do you like name Margarita? It's my favorite drink. I was like, why don't we call Margarita Morabito? He was like, is her middle name gonna be spicy? I'm like, why not? And then maybe if I have a boy, we could hold Call him Aperol. <laughs> Aperol, middle name Spritz, Morabito. How do you guys like this idea? Crazy? No? Yes? No? Another note, the internet here is so freaking slow. I can't tell you how slow it is. I'm trying to upload my first day of workout challenge that I promised the people. And of course I didn't. I didn't upload it today probably. Because the internet is literally, it's been like half an hour. It's just 3%. So I don't know how it's gonna happen today. But I'm working on it. Stay patient. I also wanted to show you this makeup kit and use. Look how awesome that is. I literally didn't even unpack it. I just hanged it and it's right here. Everything is visible. It takes two minutes to wrap it back up. Isn't it genius? Okay guys, I'm going to shower because soon we're going to dinner and I literally not ready. a little update i haven't filmed in a few days just really wanted to like i sleeping just really wanted to like suck in the whole fun of mykonos honestly it's like not a place for a very relaxing kind of experience vacation i feel like mykonos is only like a party kind of scene i mean the city is very beautiful we went to the city two times yeah. i uh did some 
I did some shopping and um, last night we actually went to this really cool party of a DJ that I'm absolutely in love with. It's been second year that we've been lucky enough to be here at this time that he was playing. His name is John Blomquist. John Blomquist. I hope I pronounced it right because it's a, such a hard name to pronounce for me. But anyway, he's one of those DJ that perform a life like he sings while he also plays, which I think is really special because like most of the teaching nowadays he just like press the button to play and pretty much it but he actually makes his own music has so many amazing tracks you can like find him on spotify his amazing songs so yesterday he was playing in alimagu and we went with our friends and we literally had the best time like my legs are hurting on another note today i taking allegra out as you see she fell asleep she's kind of waking up now i've been as i said it's not much to do here with kids the beach has been really windy and like the water is super cold like she doesn't want to go swim in there so we've been kind of not really doing beach stuff especially because we're going to italy after and i know there will be a lot of like beach activities so during day i was really taking her to horse ranch pretty much every day she's kind of over it i feel like and also i just arrived to this like kids club kids playground i haven't been here before so i really want to see how it's done and if she's gonna like it kind of waking waiting for her to fully wake up are you wake up you woke up you wake up <coughs> as you see she's already coughing this cough doesn't go away the ice cream truck? Yeah. Nice. it's actually very close by our house the only thing there is no kids so she has no one to play with she's a bit disappointed at that but she likes it so far Look at this wildlife we have. What is she eating, sweetie? Strawberry. Strawberry? You I bet she's eating the, the last one. The last one is apricot. Yeah. You see, we give her like a full variety, a little fruit salad. She's having breakfast. Look how it's eating her legs. So cute, right? Her arms, whatever you want. Do you want it? Every morning, maybe we give her fruit, okay? Yeah. So I'm um, guys in local shop where they have a lot of like handmade jewelry and they can like adjust things and they can make things up to your like taste. They have so many cute pieces. They have little evil eyes, colorful jewelry, little symbols. I actually picked this like modern hoop that goes inside and a little cuff and also this double rings. Super cute, no? I got earrings. Do you like earrings? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Agra, we're super tempted to get herself a necklace. What did you get? Which necklace you got? Tell them. A Scorpio. A Scorpio necklace. It's your star sign, right? They're gonna make it smaller now and we're gonna put it on your neck. Papa is gonna be thrilled that you put Scorpio on your neck. Embracing the star what sign. Scorpio is a star sign. When I was born, I was Pisces, and when you born, it's a Scorpio. Scorpio is a star sign. You want to try it on? Awesome. <laughs> Show me. <gasps> this is so cute. Okay, mama. Uh, you love it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, your sister? No, that's my daughter. That's my daughter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter. You cannot believe you are my daughter. Yeah. They say mom is so young. Yeah? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> the lady thought I was 19, guys. <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> she has a little studio on the back of her shop, and that's where she creates her jewelry. That's the name of the store, right? Yes. So, guys, this is the name of the store if you ever want to come here. It's right in town. of Mykonos. I actually realized I really didn't vlog much about Mykonos. We we're just mostly we're going to like clubs and restaurants but not really seeing a lot of local stuff. What's that? I want to make it like this. Turning, turning. 
Yeah, I see. So I'm doing a little tour today. We're leaving tomorrow from Mykonos. So I was like, okay, today's the day. You're getting a proper vlog. So we are on to the next like local store where we shopped a lot. It's actually my second year that I'm coming here. It's where they sell this like handmade Greek sandals. I bought for Allegra this one the brown ones and last year i bought her with wings how cute so they also have for adults like not everything i love but you can kind of pick and choose in here and they are really good quality and very very good price so, and our nanny bought for her also sandals, but they were too narrow for her, so we had to come back here to change them. I also bought the other day a really cute linen set. It's like a linen yellow set that I actually posted on Instagram, and a lot of people were asking me like where I got it from. And it was actually on a street, like one of the street shops. I'm gonna show you once. I'm gonna pass it. I'm actually going to a very specific store I saw last night. I'm super upset because we actually just found the store and I completely forgot they have a break in stores from 3 to 6. The stores don't work here, most of the stores. People don't really love to work in Greece, what can I say? <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys how every store here on the outside is so perfectly groomed and done. <music> Quite incredible how the whole city is so multi-layered and like I thought I saw everything and now I find like so many other new stores and fun fact I see a lot of churches here which I was like wow they're really li religious which they are but then I found out that actually back then I think the rule was if you build a church on the property of your house and you don't pay taxes that's pretty funny show me show me They have so many nice stuff here, honestly. I can shop here non-stop, it's so nice. Look at this one, look at this set, so cool. Oh. <laughs> we just got home from all the shopping and I'm so upset. We lost one of the bags and inside of the bag was like a chopstick with a little like shells on it. It was so cute. I ran all over the city and I couldn't find it. I was very upset. Also, I really feel like sharing it because I'm so excited. Allegra is there, but I want to just share like how many people come up to me and say they love my channel, they love my Instagram, they love the content I'm creating. I don't feel like I'm getting it a lot in America where people here are like so open and so excited to meet you. Not that I'm like, I mean, of course it's very pleasant that people recognize you, but it's just like such a beautiful moment to see people appreciating your content and give you their feedbacks. It was really, really nice. I haven't ever had that kind of Amori that's really not nice sounds really really not nice you're such a beautiful girl we don't do that sounds <sighs> so anyway it's very cute good morning we're on to the next location today we're going to Italy right yeah. so we are right now this is Nona right we are packing right now this favorite part to be honest so Amoris, you guys all asking for like packing tip this one is very simple but i feel like it's so good for if you travel to many locations like more than one and especially if you hop into locations for like two three days so you don't really stay a proper time because now in between greece where we stayed a week we're gonna be in rome for four days then in capri for four days and then we're going to puglia for two weeks which is already a longer time but this four days and four days in different Yes, and this uh, four days that we're going to be in Rome, like I don't want to unpack the luggage because it just takes too much effort. So I'm actually organizing my suitcase into two sections. This one is beach and like resort, and this one is more night. So this way when I arrive, I just open the luggage and I actually can find things easily, you know? I have my own system over here. And I also have a separate luggage for my shoes. So I do travel with two luggages. Not very much a light traveler, but I feel like when you're going for one month, how can somebody travel light going for one month? I don't want to. You don't want to pack? You want to go on the plane right away? I you know, you're impatient. Don't forget 
different necklace. Oh yeah, that's a necklace you made, right? That and not forget it. Hello guys, we are in Rome in the city where my husband is born so we're doing a little touring today I don't have a good guide, my husband knows pretty much everything but we wanted to do something different today so we'll be going into more hidden, unknown places I'm very excited, I'll take you along with me Here we have a local market with very interesting merchandise So we have a little quiz today I'll show you a trick, okay? Il nasone, it's called big nose. Nasone, uh -huh. nasone. Because if you look at the spout, it looks like a nose. Now uh -huh. you can always tell a local versus a tourist because the tourist drinks. Oh, yeah, try to do that. that Never I, drink that. That I know as well. But the okay. only thing you do from underneath is you ah. fill your bottle. You but see, if, guys? But if you need to drink, then what you do is. Oh, a oh. little trick is you put a little bit of pressure right ah. here. Ah. Here we go. There is a special technology. Because the animals drink Now you know, water. guys. It's a little intellectual quiz over here. Okay, <laughs> so for next that? time. Yes, I want to try that. Adjust, adjust. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, this is the place where you can have the most local experience of food where Nona cooks right in front of you. She doesn't have a menu, so don't ask the questions, but she I think you should do it. She doesn't speak English either. She doesn't speak English either, so. Sit down, shut up, and she cooks for you. I like that. <laughs> Here's Nona. Buonasera, Valerio. Buonasera. apparently drink the best espresso in the world this is what our guide claims and as you guys know I'm a big big fan of coffee and I can definitely say it if it's the best coffee or not it's 4 p.m. so I'm not sure how I'm gonna sleep tonight because coffee in Italy is pretty strong but if it's the best coffee in the world I'll do it I'll do it Good. It's decaf, but I feel like I want to sleep for three nights even with decaf. It, that's important. <laughs> instant enthusiasm. That's important. Let me find out. Okay, good. Not through there. Yeah. So like, I wish the camera could it's translate like the smell meat. too. I know it takes a long time. Oh my god. <laughs> When it's worth the calories, it's worth the calories. Um. <laughs> okay guys, you've been asking me for some shopping tips in Rome and I think we found a very worthy shop. How do you call that again? A ecclesiastical tailor. It is uh, the Rodeo Drive of the Vatican. Okay, get ready. Ready? He said the sales are coming, so make sure you've been here. I'm shocked. The shop has no prices. This is how expensive it is. Tailoring is better than the tailoring on a machine. I didn't even know this kind of um, shop will exist in the world. Here it is. Now we know. This is the look. Me and you are coming back to Miami. Yes. Uh, guys, I found one item that you can afford is Birkenstock. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And here you see this two things. So guys, this is the oldest chocolate store which used to supply okay, a royal family. So but there's something behind that. I can't wait uh, to hear. Piazza at the 20 minute 
I love, mm -hmm. I love knowing these things for a simple reason, right? Uh -huh. It's because I'm Italian, so as Italians, we always we want to know everything, right? About right. Our, our culture. But what I love is try to find things that we don't normally know. And I've got one for Valerio. Valerio, get ready Valerio, the quiz. Why do we wear blue in all our sports teams? Why are we the Azzurri? It's a favorite red? color of our Valerio. Because uh, it's the color of the royal Italian family. Perfect. Ta-da! Uh, the royal family. Okay. <laughs> one but zero. wait, wait, wait. No, no, that's not <laughs> okay, the question. Okay, 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 of the flag are reflected in the shield of the Savoys, you see? Red background, one right cross, and a green border, right? Uh -huh. And they are also represented a little where? bit of reflection, but... Good. Where is the family's crest represented in our culture? Ah, I can give it away. If I, if I tell you it, it'll be a giveaway. What better? I mean, food. Oh, food. Uh-huh. Maybe some, yeah, we got some, him. Some, some chocolate maker or, no, or some... No. some, some so there's a very famous member of the royal family who would have these like sort of big events like galas and stuff right uh -huh. and they would make the herald the shield in food okay. and the most famous version of this is to make the shield in bread use tomato for the red a white cross with mozzarella and basilico leaves to go round and in fact this food is named after the queen of the savoys margarita margarita oh, yeah. and that's why it's called margarita pizza Into some other surprise. So, guys, this is miniature of St. Peter, a totally hidden little church miniature version that no one knows of. interesting perform store where you can create your own perform or buy the ready one really have a lot of nice natural smells or something new i never heard of this brand actually i actually love how they have little fans so it's very smart that actually you spray perfume on and then you smell it really great idea never seen that before these italians they know how to sell Hello! We are on our day three in Rome. Actually, tomorrow we'll have only half day here and then we're leaving to Capri. And we are again touring today around Miami because we really, really loved our experience yesterday. We got so many places and little stories we didn't know about. And today we're continuing guiding the Rome. We just finished a four hour family lunch. Four hour, very Italian style. Anyway, let's go. witnessing a taxi driver strike over here. It's been really a big problem to find any taxi for the last two days because the taxi driver decided to do a strike. I don't know what the strike is about. What the strike is about? They are against Uber. Oh, they're doing it against Uber. Okay, understood. What happens when your nose grows big? Why his nose is big? Do you know? No. Because he says lies a lot. When you don't say a truth, your nose grows big, 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 big. Will you always tell me the truth? No. No? Oh, I don't want to nose big. You don't want your nose to grow big? No, That's that why you always have to tell me the scary. truth. <laughs> okay. We're on our way to another coffee shop, which apparently competes with the coffee shop we've been yesterday. So we're gonna test the coffee again today and see which one is better. Never enough of coffee. By the way, I couldn't fall asleep yesterday until 2 a.m. This is how sensitive I am to coffee. Even with the cup, there's still a little bit of coffee. Oh my god! You guys know I love this one. We have it in Miami. And the cannolo, cannolo con la ricotta. Mm, buonissimo. Ok, 
Okay guys, we're testing another coffee shop. I'll let you know. This is my mom-in-law order for herself. <laughs> Much better. This is what you. I wish to have, but I'm having this. You're very, very, very wise. <laughs> because we have a long vacation still this is to the go. Diet, uh, wow. The diet version. Let's see what your opinion is, Rita. Go on. Okay. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember what we do though? Mm. You, you remember the three steps? Which one? Stir, drink. Cheers, guys. Really good. Apparently, this is the first coffee vending machine. I like this trip. I did a lot of cultural things for you guys. A lot of places, a lot of history. Now, onto fun stuff. Shopping! Shopping is honestly so good in Italy. Ah. There is one store that I'm dying to go. It's a multi-brand store called Gente. They have all the best brands that obviously we have in America, but just the way it's curated, it's something else. You want to like buy everything there, honestly. So on the way, we're going to pass a very first Bulgari store ever, ever. I'll show you. And also guys, I'm so proud of myself. This trip, the vlog is like, feels so full and properly done because I'm just not scared anymore to take my camera out and talk to it. People still look like, what the hell is she doing? But I'm glad I'm having this confidence of not caring. Mm -hmm. 